Good morning and what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Sumi Shaves video with me on a beautiful day. Hashtag Team Allblade and hashtag No Blade Left Behind. Thank you so much for being here today, for joining us, and for sharing a little bit of your day with me. I'm absolutely thrilled to have you here. All I can say is Subi Smiles and Squad Goals. I really do appreciate each and every one of you for paying tribute to the channel and spending a little bit of your day with me. I'm thrilled to have you here. Hopefully wherever you're tuning in from today, you got yourself something cold in your hand and you're sitting in a comfy chair, will it on in, get nice and comfortable and welcome. Let's do a shave. I'm really excited today to talk about two razors and some stuff I just got in the mail from Grace over at Yachi. Huge shout out to Grace again. Take a look. I want to showcase how beautiful these razors truly are. We've got a brand new single edge razor available on the market in stainless steel. That is right. I've got it in hand today. This is a stainless steel version of their Excalibur head and it is really, really beautiful. It's titled Romulus on their website, but if you dig into their actual description, it's actually listed as the Rapier. It's part of their sword series. They're really excited to be releasing this, offering it, and um, making it available, because I know it's one, uh, one of the razors that gets really requested heavily over on Grace's side of things. They, people have been wanting the Excalibur head in stainless steel. Today, we've got it. We've got it in both formats. We've got polished, and we've got matte, and we're going to use both together on a shave, and I'm really excited. We're going to kind of compare contrast which finish is going to feel um, right for you. But I'm telling you this, the razor in the hand is nice and beautiful. It's ergonomic. It feels really comfortable. I like the length of this, um, this razor setup like this. And on top of that, I think it pairs so well with its aesthetic. Love this. We'll talk a little bit about the aesthetic and maybe some inspirations. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm thrilled to be showcase, uh, showcasing and sharing this today with you. Let's do it. Ah, oh, it's going to be awesome. Again, huge shout out to Grace over at Yachi for making our channel one of the ones that they share um, their content with, right? They give us the opportunity to do the review. They send us the stuff and I just am so excited because guess what? That's not all they sent. Ah, oh, take a look here. They sent us the Gemini. This is a brand new handle being made by Yachi. You can see here it says Yachi on the bottom. It says Yachi Professional. Make sure it's the right, yep, <laughs> make sure it's the right way up. Yachi Professional, love this. I absolutely think that's fantastic. It reminds me of, you know what I mean, the tribute to the rubber set um, handles back of, in, the, in the day. But this is heavy, 155-ish approximate grams. This thing is heavy. And they sent me not only the, the matte version that goes with their razor, but the polished version that goes with the razor. Now, on their website, if you go to it and you look up Gemini, what you're going to find is they've listed this kind of funny. They've listed it as like, uh, you know, like a, a, an anodized and non-stainless steel. For me, I, I think they just called it metal. I, it is, I believe, stainless, but I'm not willing to risk my reputation on that. It doesn't say it's stainless in their actual marketing or in their webpage, but who knows? This is brand new. We may see that change. I believe it is a stainless steel handle. I am still waiting back for from Yachi to hear back from that. But take a look here. Now, this is fantastic. It smells beautiful. And you know what we're rocking today? We've got Moss Burr. I'm using it one more time from the Wet Shaving Store collab with MSC, Master Soap Creations. I'm going to say it right, darn it, and I'm going to do it one time at least. Master Soap Creations, Moss Burr. This is another one of those inspiration tribute scents to Tuscan Ford, or Tom Ford Tuscan Leather. Tom Ford Tuscan Leather. Absolutely love this. Moss Burr, the art on it is actually something that Andy, over at the Wet Shaving Store, the owner, created. He designed in the art based on a video game spoids that he actually developed and code um, co-designed love 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 this again tom ford tuscan leather it is a very famous luxurious exotic it smells sophisticated it smells expensive and bougie we got it right here and it is freaking awesome so excited to be using this in conjunction with our yashi shave now these are two razors that i have been dying to use and i'm absolutely thrilled to share them today but that's not the only things they sent. i wanted to show one more thing they sent us this stand take a look at the stand here the stand is really interesting it's very pretty it was hard to capture in actual footage so i'll make sure i have like a call out video that showcase showcasing a little bit better better light really beautiful the pearlescent on there now my only complaint is things like the um, like the Suka handle right here doesn't fit right the Chippendale handle just so you know if you're trying to buy this for these does not fit 
I was kind of disappointed by that, but other than that, it does fit some of the thicker ones like the Harlequin handle. I've had a hard time kind of sourcing something that fits the Harlequin, and it, as you can see, it fits it, but it's tight. So just so you know, it does fit and it is tight. Now, I wanted to mention, because this razor is being des um, designed and introduced as part of their sword series, I wanted to show the katana next to it. And Grace actually mentions in her um, uh, webpage that this has been highly popular. It's a razor that uses half DE razor blade. It's as This one is actually ZMAX, so it's a cheaper product. It's available, it's mass manufactured and produced, and it's been really successful, I guess, over in China. So they've continued to kind of develop and, and, and kind of research single edge razors and they've come up with this for their Excalibur line. Now I wanted to show, I did show in the video today, the differences between their Gen 1 and the Gen 2. This is an Excalibur Gen 1. And as you see it side by side, you'll notice that there's some significant differences. I, the history behind that's kind of interesting to me, in my opinion. Um, they designed this uh, originally a couple years back and it didn't shave super close. It was a pretty mild, very mild shaver. And a lot of people actually preferred this razor. They actually liked the way this felt with the Artist Club blades. This is a razor, again, that uses Artist Club blades. These are extremely sharp, right? I'm using Kai Captain Pinks today on 24 hours of stubble. I want to call that out 24 hours of stubble, but for me, the blades might feel mild, but they are laser sharp and they are the one blade in the world that can cut me if I'm not super careful today. The face shave, the neck shave, super comfortable, really close. This has a very, very smooth feel to it for me. And because the way they've designed the head cap to have more of a rounded edge versus, and you know, we've got to do it, the vector's beveled edge. You see how the vector's cap's like almost beveled? I find this has a very specific angle. The vector like to shave at whereas this brand new razor the romulus the rapier whatever you want to call it whatever they're going to eventually go with this razor for me has a little bit more angle to play around with because of the shape of it let me show you i really like this design this is my second shave and i want to call that out i used it one time yesterday i was going to film the shave and ultimately um the razor and the heat in the in the in the bathroom everything didn't work out and i ended up having tons of resets and, and i was just gonna have to cut it up and put it I was going to have to smash it all together and it wasn't going to work. I didn't want to do that. I wanted this to be clear and just straightforward and transparent on what you're getting with this razor without a ton of edits, right? So we wanted a clean run through and it just didn't happen yesterday, but the razor shaved extremely close and it reminded me Artist Club razors do bite. I ended up getting a few nicks yesterday. So today much better shape, much better shape when I'm being cautious, careful, and just know that even though this razor feels very, very mild, it is deceptive, it is smooth, and it shaves deeply. Love this one. Let me show you why. Now, I was really fascinated yesterday with yesterday's shave, my first shave ever with the razor, because the polished variation for me is harder to delineate where the blade starts and where the head cap ends. It's fascinating. I don't know why that's the case, but my skin has a hard time deciphering where that blade really sitting. And that's where my nicks came from. I got all the nicks on the side where the where I use the polished. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna actually use half the one razor on one side of my head and half the other to kind of show and discuss the differences of the two different finishes. Because some people out there may really like this very elegant, smooth. I mean, there's no drag to it whatsoever. It feels just divine across the skin. 24 hours, just slamming right off. I promise you, it is cutting extremely close. It's a longer space, so it's a little harder to see sometimes. But the ultimate shave is very, very, very comfortable and very deep. And it's a little harder to do, to actually define and find on the polished version. Now they're seventy dollars for this razor, which puts it, in my opinion, as one of the best single edge razors you can purchase at the price point. Right, um, seventy dollars in stainless steel. It's going to last a lifetime in an artist club blade format. Very good, very very good, especially considering what the competition is offering it at. Right, the competition saying, okay, well, our razors are going to be two, three, four hundred dollars. The Yachi brand, again, comes out swinging at $80, $70, $70, and you can order the razor they did mention on the website as just the head. So say you don't love the handle, right? 
Say you're like, I don't love that handle, I want a different one. They will sell you just the head. Now they did say that they designed the handle perfectly with the razor head, which kind of made me wince a little bit because it does pay so much inspiration tribute to on the Maxwell June design, right? A razor that I'm very familiar with. Now the groovings on this are a little bit less deep than the Maxwell June. Um, the beveling's different, but it does absolutely resemble. And I do want to call that out. It does resemble their system, right? That razor, but the actual combination between the, the handle and the head very nice, very, very, very nice, very smooth. We're gonna flip it around here. I wanna show you the, the uh, more matte version. Oh man, they s just shave so good. It shaves so good. And for me, I have to constantly remind myself, do not press. Now I love, you see how I have that ability to get in there and make that um, shave line really tight? It's because the matte version of this feels very uh, specific is where the blade starts and the razor cap ends. Kind of interesting. I had something I found yesterday. I didn't think I was going to love the matte version as much. And I absolutely just love it. Now, the Gemini handle is another one of those things that kind of threw me, right? The polished version. I was like, oh, I've never had a polished handle. I wonder how that feels for an actual shade brush. It is a little bit slippery. I'm not going to lie. You'll see in the video today. I made sure to call it out. I used alum several times during the lathering process to keep my hand from slipping off the handle. I didn't realize how much um, pressure I actually needed on the handle, but I need a lot more pressure than I actually realized. And as I was using that 155 gram, very um, soapy handle, I was actually getting quite a bit of movement and slippage. And so I, um, switching it over to use a little bit of the alum helped. But just so you know, that is something to, to think about when you're um, using that handle, the Gemini brand new um, shave handle, um, shaving brush handle. Now, here's another thing that I found interesting with the shaving brush handle is that the actual um, weight comes into play when you're lathering with it. And it also collects a lot of heat. Now, I want to call that out. I sat my brush today in some oil. In some, it wasn't even hot. It was warm water. And boy, oh boy, did that sucker get hot. So just so you know, if you are going to soak the brush, which I know is not technically, you're supposed to just soak the bristles, right? Not supposed to, supposed, um, supposed to soak the brush handle. I do. I do. I have heard that it can loosen glue and things like that. I soak mine. I know. Uh, wrong side. Wrong side. I do soak mine and I just, it's just a bad habit. Honestly, it's a bad habit, but I did notice the handle got really, really warm. Now in the winter, I think that is gonna be lovely. Having a warm handle that stays warm, right? I don't know if you, uh, if, or if you're watching this, have ever used a shift knob that gets hot in the summer heat. Kind of felt like that. It kind of felt like I was grabbing a shift knob that had been sitting in the sun for like a day. It was super hot and it definitely didn't feel the best in the hand. I will definitely call that out. Um, I've never really played around too much with having a stainless steel handle. So that's kind of a really cool opportunity. And I think it's a great way if you want to match your gear to a certain aesthetic, right? I love that. I love that they're releasing a handle that has like this really nice aesthetic to it. And it matches a lot of their stuff. I think that is just kind of plays into the OCD of shaving and collecting and curating your shave of the day, of, you know, perfectly to match each other. I just really curating your shave. I like that. I like the actual design when you sit it side by side. I, I love the photos today. I just want to mention this. I love those photos that I was able to get with the razor because it does pop and it just looks so modern and beautiful. Great shape. Honestly, you saw this, no nicks, no dings, no issues, and nothing but slickness. Nothing but the best. Absolutely fantastic Artist Club um, shave. Again, it's a razor that, if I'm not really careful, it's the one that's gonna bite me every single time, but their system just has a little bit more um, angle control because of the bevel on the head. But really, ultimately, for me, right, if you were to say, Subi, be honest with us, cut it square, tell us straight, no Subi snowballing, give us the facts, right? Not only is this, in my opinion, a leprechaun only, bowl of mallows, spoonful of the good stuff, honestly. Love these, absolutely love these. But there's a design improvement over the vector. Now, I'm gonna call this out. I think I'm one of the only wet shavers to call it out. I don't know why. I'm being perfectly transparent and honest with you because I believe you deserve it, right? My money spends as fast as yours does. It's just as easy to get rid of. And the vector for me binds up the blade still to this day. I, I, I produced a, a fix for this where the, um, Shane had me bend the razor head cap. What ends up happening is that ends up redeforming. I don't know why. I don't understand it, but that little thin metal for me over 
over time re-warps. So uh, I have shaves where they're phenomenal. And then I find out like two shaves later that the blade head caps warped. The blade won't come out and it bites me. It gives me warping on the blade. I don't love that. Their system, the Yachi system has improved it. They use a smaller pin and the way it secures to the actual a Artist Club blades, in my opinion, is better. That is a complete 100% my opinion here, but that is my opinion. They're, they're, this is a huge improvement to the loading mechanism because if you look here, look how big my finger is compared to the head. The head is difficult as it is to remove the blade. Having the vector bind the blade into it, dangerous, right? That's just my opinion here. Now these do shave different than the original Excalibur. I will call that out. They do shave slightly different, but I want to show you this. So we're just going to really quickly uh, unscrew the head. I really want to show this because in my opinion, this is what separates this razor from its competitors is the actual ability to break it down. That is all I had to do. One-handed, one-handed, did not interact with it blade comes out no problems nice and easy it's it's in my opinion what the vector really is lacking and i just wish so badly i'm, I'm trying to get this on camera so you guys can see look at this it's really sketchy look at this though you see that you see how easy all it took was just a little bit of a nudge and that blade's free that right there alone for me is what separates this razor from this razor and it's a big enough deal and a big enough difference for me that i would want I would, i'll reach for this one daily versus this one for sure i will reach for this one way more often because not only is it easier to disassemble i like the shave head just a little bit better for me i actually enjoy this more i hate saying it and i know i'm gonna get flamed and all those people are gonna be angry at me for saying it but I like this shave better. It's a little less aggressive. I have a little bit more um, angle control. I love that it's easily disassemblable, right? And it doesn't bind the blades up, not to mention it's one fourth of the other one. Love this design, the head design alone. You can see they've spent a lot of time engineering that to be so, uh, really functional. And coming from their first couple iterations of that razor, I can say they've made huge improvements in the stainless steel variation, tons of improvements really really smooth shave really comfortable again no shave nicks no dings no irritation nothing but the best and most beautiful shave possible grabbing a little bit of our after splash and we're going right on i can tell you this i'm happy to report no nicks no issues no skin irritation or flare-ups just a beautiful artist club nice bbs shave with two razors that I think will get the market really excited. I've had several people reach out to me and say, when are we gonna see a stainless steel Excalibur? I'm telling you the Romulus or Rapier has finally dropped, it's here, and it really is everything we've been waiting for. I loved the shave and I do think it's worth it if you are an original ZMAC owner that wants to get a razor that's going to last its lifetime, right? And your lifetime and lifetimes to come, right? Get yourself a heritage piece that really is worth using and loving. I think this is phenomenal. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the video. I know I love doing it. Thank you so much again for being here. It really does mean the world to me. And I love getting to do this with everybody here. We're just gonna assemble the razor so that you guys can see them side by side. I think these just came out so good. Again, huge thanks to Yachi. Grace, what a beautiful razor you guys have developed over there. And I'm telling you, it is just phenomenal. The square little, um, square little uh, peg that you screw onto, right? Actually works with other razor handles. I do want to call that out. I've had people ask me if that thread will work with other handles. It does. And they're actually saying that it, you can use whatever handle you want with it, even if it's not the one they designed for the razor. Beautiful, beautiful razor. Again, huge thanks to Team Yachi. And wow, what a close good shave. Ah, oh, it was awesome having you here. Thank you again. And until I see you all, I'm gonna get out and enjoy a beautiful shave. You should too. Soups. <laughs>